Okay guys, so while I'm moving some things around the house here, I thought I would uh, make this video because I've just been really thinking about um, how far I've come with this whole idea of getting the RV and living on the road. And it's all started right here. With any of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I built this vision board. Man, I don't even know. It's about a year ago, I guess. May even have been longer than that. And, you know, basically I put the cards across the top here with daily tasks that I need to do so that I'd be able to just kind of go through one of them at a time, pull the cards down as I completed each thing. I had the giant arrow here pointing down for things that I wanted to decrease, like my weight <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, different bills and things like that that I had. Then I had the big red arrow over here for things I wanted to increase, different types of income, and uh, ultimately getting the RV at the top of this arrow. And as we know, I've already got the RV. So that's kind of what got me uh, thinking about this this morning. You know, I'm just, I'm just really blown away that I actually own an RV now and I am in the process, like right in the middle of the process of remodeling the whole thing. I mean, to think that when I built this board, that was all just basically a dream and it's coming true now. It's just, it's just totally amazing to me. It makes my chest just tighten up just thinking about it. Now, the fact that I don't have anything on either of these arrows right now is only because I never put the things back up. But basically, I had a lot of things on this one that were like, I think I had five things on my credit report that I needed to get paid off and wiped off of there. And I have got that down to one. I had all kinds of bills and debts that I've paid off and wiped out this year. Well, maybe not just this year, but within the past year or so. Lots of things that I have done um, on this arrow to really decrease my financial obligations and get in a better position towards this whole idea. Now, the red arrow here, I had a lot of things, like I said, about like income and uh, things like that and working up to buying the RV. Well, I've definitely increased my income. I have brought my, uh, my credit score up. I know you're just looking at a blank... Uh, canvas here, but <laughs> I brought my credit score up from like the 400s up to the 600s. And that's a big one because when I'm on the road, I don't plan on taking out any loans. I plan on paying cash for everything that I do, but you can never go wrong in having the opportunity available to take out a loan if you need it. And of course, we've got me in the B down here. And then up here was the ultimate goal of buying the RV. And that's not the kind of RV that I bought, but that was just a general idea. And uh, as you know, I bought the giant Class A 34-foot Winnebago. And again, that just, it, it totally blows my mind that that has already happened. Um, I've got so many things around the house here that have to do with the RV and getting things ready. So that's kind of the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about as I'm thinking about this stuff. I mean, if you've been watching the videos, then you know, you know, where we are at right now. Everything that I've already done in the RV, as far as tearing out carpet in the front end there, getting the new chairs, um, well, the front seats reupholstered, washing all that stuff down there. I rebuilt that wall on the passenger side window put up some uh, some wallpaper. I've already begun tearing out uh, carpet in the rest of the RV that I started filming the other day, and I'll be posting that very soon, but, you know, I gotta get a lot more footage first. And then as you look in my mess of an office here, <laughs> here, is, all this stuff is RV-related stuff over here. We got the mattress over here. This is the new table that I bought and the chairs. This is the old coffee table that I'm considering using for uh, the new table in there instead of the giant one that doesn't really fit. Then I just have various boxes of things related to the RV. I think this stuff down here, yeah, all of this is uh, for the generator, like to change the oil and put in a new filter and all that stuff. We got the hardwood flooring peeking out back here. That's something I'll be working on very soon. You can see the old table from the dinette back there. And then we've got the two dinette chairs right here that um, between all of this stuff, I am going to create an awesome little cozy area right there where the dinette was in the RV. Again, if you've been watching for a little while, you know when I pulled out that new table, it was just way too big to actually fit in the area. And then I played around with the idea of 
using this one on the legs from that table. But when it comes down to it there, I believe that's going to make it way too high. So I have a lot of decisions to make when it comes down to that. And I really, really do like these dinette seats. Not as they are now. I want to recover those, but I'm going to do that myself instead of actually taking them to uh, the reupholstery place. And I will probably end up using one of these and the long table there. I'm really not sure yet, but some way or another, it will turn into a nice little cozy place to sit, work on my laptop, or eat food, or whatever. That will all be determined. You'll just have to stay tuned and see what I come up with there. I'm really not sure. Of course, as we step into the living room here, we've got the new couch that I am just itching to get in. And obviously, I can't put that in until I have the new carpet, the new wallpaper on the slide, um, the new window treatments and blinds. I'm not even sure what all that is going to consist of, but I'm working on it. I'm continuously working on this stuff every day, all day long. But just to take another look at this couch here, look at this thing. How comfy is that going to be? And I believe there's a little bit of red in this leather here. Kind of hard to tell under the lighting, but hello, ghost. Ah, uh, yes, welcome to my house. <laughs> Then, of course, I've got a few things over here that I'm working towards as well. I've got the Winnebago bag that has everything in it having to do with everything. This awesome Living the RV Life book, which I've yet to read the whole thing. I've just skimmed through it. I keep every receipt from every single thing that I buy uh, for the RV. And I continue to pick things up, like this right here. Thetford Aqua Magic Style Plus Toilet. Um, the reason I bought this is because it has full coverage of the bowl. Most of them just have a little bit of water in there and you push a, a foot pedal and I don't know, then you got to spray it and clean it and all this stuff. But I really like that. So I ordered that off of Amazon and then I went on Walmart and I ordered this 22 inch tabletop uh, Blackstone griddle. This is what everybody seems to be using out there on the road and everybody loves it. So I had to buy one myself. Now, I'm usually not the kind of person that just kind of follows what everybody else does. But it is a really nice grill. It's awesome. It was $200, but they had it marked down to $95. And I thought, you know what? If I buy it and I don't like it, I can easily sell it and get my money back. But I cannot imagine I'm not going to like it. Because I'm also in a group on Facebook about cooking with the Blackstone griddle. And man, the kind of foods that these people are making, fajitas and these smash burgers that are just full of cheese and onions and peppers and all kinds of stuff. It just, just unbelievable. It looks so good. So I can't imagine I'm not going to love that thing. I think I'm going to love my potty too. <laughs> so, um, so that's just a, a kind of a, a past, a present, and a quick future thing right there for what I'm working towards. Like I said, I am right in the middle of the remodel of the RV. Uh, the next step with that is I found another place that I'm going to be moving the RV that gives me better access to it to uh, to work on it whenever I want to. Um, right now it's in somebody's driveway. They're out of town and they were going to be on vacation for a while, but they're going to be coming back early because of everything that's going on. So I do have a leak of coolant, and I found out what it was, and it's just this big hose. So I need to get under there, I need to pull that hose, replace it, and then I can move the RV to the new place and uh, and continue working on it. You guys have probably seen that I did the, uh, the backsplash recently. I absolutely love walking in there now and seeing that done. It was such a huge job, and it was so frustrating. But I'm so glad it's done. It looks so nice. It needs a little bit of touching up because when it was so cold the other day, I noticed that parts of it was starting to peel. So I may need to add some extra glue behind it. Like if I just got even, I don't know, super glue or something, I just kind of squeezed it back there and then smoothed it right back on. And I also want to put some caulking along the uh, the seams there too. I think that'll also help. Uh, get the rest of that area done. Finish tearing out the uh, the carpet in there. Then we're going to move forward with the hardwood floors, the carpet on the slide, the carpet in the bedroom, get the new mattress in the bedroom, the new TVs in there throughout, the new couch, figure out our dinette. I can't wait. It's going to be totally awesome, you guys. Stick with me through this and uh, keep watching. And as soon as the entire remodel is over, 
I will more than likely put together one big video that covers the whole thing. So you can just watch that and see it from the day that I bought it and uh, the entire transformation to what it's going to be. And then I'll be hitting the road and we'll be making awesome videos from the road back to the morning show from the RV and wherever I may be that morning, sitting outside looking at the mountains. <laughs> Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. So, all right, guys. I hope this at least gave you a little bit something different to watch um, instead of all this, you know, crap that's been going on in the news and everything that's negative and just dragging us all down. So stay tuned and uh, you'll get to see everything that's happening with this RV.